In STAD Pro, the Floor Load command will allow you to define a region in space which is subject to a uniform pressure even though there may not be any explicit structure defined to represent that region. An internal algorithm would then distribute the pressure back to the structural members assuming a rudimentary distribution. New in STAD Pro 2023, the enclosed zone load definition and load item have been added to address some of the limitations of the floor load algorithm. First, the enclosed zone load commands can handle complex shapes since a boundary of the enclosed zone load is created graphically as a closed polygon through a load definition. You can also specify if there are any openings within the boundary to ensure that the pressure load is not applied within that opening. Next, the enclosed load command allows you to specify if you want to ignore members for panel formation. This parameter will allow you to specify the distribution of pressure loads for distribution to the supporting members. Finally, the enclosed load command allows you to specify if you want to ignore members for load transfer. This parameter allows you to specify members within the boundary that are not meant to attract the loading directly, such as bracing members. To use this new load command, you're going to go with a two-step process. You're going to create your enclosed zone definition through the load definitions area and include information such as the boundaries, openings, and any members to ignore for loads or panel formation. Next, that pressure load can be applied through a zone load item, which will then distribute those loads to the supporting members within a primary load case. After the enclosed zone loads are applied to your structure in STAD Pro, you can then review the load distribution. This will include the load arrows and the tributary areas that were used to calculate those loads. If you need to make any changes, you can return to your enclosed zone definition and make the modifications, which will then update automatically.